So it is now March, which is crazy, but that means it's time for another favorites video. I was gonna do this, but then I decided to do the thumbs up, so that's why that was awkward. So I kind of have a bunch of like random type favorites today. So let's just get into it. Please hold while I get them organized. Okay, so first favorite is a nail polish and it's actually the nail polish I am wearing right now and this is my vampire is buff from the new Euro Central collection off-white creamy color it's really really nice I think it's very like different from just like a nude or a white it's kind of like people kind of like double look at it I found um, I can't even talk to it I don't know what's wrong with me but I really like it it's like creamy off-white my next favorite is Mint Candy Apple from Essie, and um, I saw somebody wearing this, and I mentioned this in my haul video, but I saw somebody wearing this and I asked what it was, and they told me, and I immediately got it because it's so good. And the reason why it's my favorite this month is because I got this painted on my nails the beginning of February, including my toenails, and then I stubbed my toe so bad. If you follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that, you know that because I've been complaining. It's almost better now. I'm pretty sure that the nail underneath the polish is completely black. But the point of this being my favorite is the nail polish did not chip at all. Like, I messed up my toe. I would insert a picture, but that would be gross. So if you want to see it, go on my Instagram, Amy Lynn Butchin, and scroll down because I posted a picture there. Um, and it was all kinds of colors with a big old nasty gash at the top. It was bad. I'm like klutz. I also ran into a shelf. Look at my bruise. Mm, ow. Oh, why did I do that? But anyway, this has been on there for like an entire month now, which I don't usually do because I think that's, I don't know, I just think that's gross for my toes. I just like to switch it every two or three weeks just because, I don't know, I just need to get it off. So I think this week I can finally get a pedicure. And I'm interested to see what my toe looks like under there, but I'm so impressed with that this has not chipped. That was not a good sentence. But I'm so impressed that this has not chipped the entire month on any of my toes, especially the one that I stubbed on a marble fireplace. So yay, Essie Mint Candy Apple. Next I have another something, another something from Essie, and it is their apricot cuticle oil. Um, apricot, apricot, whatever. It smells really, really good. Um, I saw this in Miss Glamorazzi's video and I was like, oh, that's kind of fun. So I tried it and it's really, really, really nice. It just keeps my nails looking like manicure fresh every day. I don't use it every day, like once a week, but if I notice that they're dry, I'll just, you know, it's a little paintbrush thingy, just like a nail polish. Paint it on there and you're good to go. So yeah, oh, I want to smell it actually. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know how they do that, but yay! Now moving into makeup. Uh, the first thing I have is this L'Oreal, I don't even know what this is. I did not buy this. Kevin brought me this from like some, the SAG Awards maybe? He got like a grab bag and this was in it. So I don't know what it's called or what color, no, it's Endless Red, I know that. But it's a lip stain and I had an audition this month where I had needed to look like Snow White and I didn't get it. But I used this and it stayed on my lips all night and I looked adorable. So I'm really into this and I've worn it a few times since. So yeah, I'd swatch it on my hand but it really would be there all day and I'm not trying to do that. So yay! Next makeup favorite I have, I also mentioned in a haul and it is the Betty Cream Soda Blush from the Archie's Girls collection. And here's what it looks like. I've been wearing this pretty much all month. Um, I really like the color. It's I don't know, it's just a really good neutral color, but it's fun at the same time. There's just the littlest bit of shimmer, so I'm really into that. Here's the cute packaging, and it's just this like peachy nude color with some shimmer in it. It's really, really pretty. Um, so it's very good for every day, and I have just been loving it. So this month I have been loving all that glitters from MAC. It's nothing new, everybody has it, but it's just a really good like rose gold everyday color that I can just sweep all over my lid and look amazing. I like to look like a majestical princess every day and this really just helps me shine so really into that. Next moving into hair which my hair is a mess today I apologize but anyway this is the Rusk 
Sensories Moist Treatment in Sunflower and Apricot. Apricot, man, it's just all over this month. Hydrating Treatment. I think this is a mask, but I, okay, this is awful, but I rarely, rarely wash my hair, like every three or four days because it's so thick and I can get away with it, so I do. Well, I think I can get away with it, but then like my sister or like Kevin is like, you need to wash your hair, and I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. But anyway, so I've been using this as a conditioner, and it smells so good. I washed my hair last night. It, oh my god, it just smells incredible, and it lasts, and it's just, I don't know. It's very hydrating. The reason I'm using this is because I bought it on a whim a long time ago, and I'm trying to use it up. And I'm doing okay so far, you know, but um, I'm in no hurry because I really, really like it, so yay! My next favorite you saw in my hair care video, but I wanted to include it this month because I've been using it a lot, and it is the Oscar Blondie Volumizing Dry Shampoo. This is a sample I got in um, a birch box, I believe, but I really, really like this. I like the scent, and I like that it's not so powdery because I mentioned that a lot of dry shampoos like get in my mouth. I just got lazy and I'm like leaning on the couch. I, God. Anyway. I'm still not gonna get up though. <laughs> My god. Okay! Anyway, um, god, I can't even think of what I was saying. The Suave Dry Shampoo, like, I spray it and it gets in my mouth and, like, I know that's a really weird explanation, but that's how I feel. And then I feel it on my, like, face and my hair and my teeth all day long. But with this, I don't feel that way. I just feel like it absorbs my oil and it's beautiful and I like the scent. So, yay! My scent favorite is, this is kind of random, but it's the Gilly Hicks La, I don't know how to say that, La Pe, La Peru. It's like their signature scent. Um, it's like when you go into the store and then you, it's like, because it's Abercrombie. Aber, yeah. Amber? Aber. It's an Abercrombie division of like bras and panties for ladies. It's amazing. But, you know, when you go into one of those stores, you're like overwhelmed by the scent that they're trying to, you know, shove in your face. And this is what they spray all over the place. But it smells really, really good. I remember I bought my first bras from there and like I took them home and I like smelled it and I was like, oh my god, that is amazing. I need to smell like that. So I went back and I bought it. And I used up quite a lot this month. Um, it was almost pretty much full. I've been using this in my hair. Oh my god. I always spray my perfume in my hair just because... It lasts all day that way, and I feel like sometimes my hair can smell like curling iron or something, so I just find that this is a better alternative, so I've been loving this. Oh, and I didn't even tell you what it smells like, but that's because I have no idea. It just smells pretty. Next, I have kind of a random treat favorite, and it's really random, but I've been eating them like nobody's business, and it's these Copico Mini Coffee Cappuccino Candies. They're so good. Um, I don't even know where to get these because <laughs> when I go to get my nails done, my I go, I go to the same woman every time and she just gives me a handful of these every single time and I usually eat the entire handful while she's doing my nails. I'm such a princess, I understand that, but I found one of these in my purse so I thought I'd share. If you can find these and eat them, you will thank me and you're welcome. Next is also a super random favorite, but it's this mug that I painted for myself at Color Me Mine. Isn't it cute? I'm gonna zoom in so you can see its cuteness. My mug! So I painted it this lavender color, and then I did the polka dots like a purple, well I thought it was blue, but it turned out to be purple. Purple, pink, dark pink, and green. And then I used the bubble paint to like um, make polka dots. So I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna... I chose this mug because it's huge and I, I'm not even really a coffee or tea drinker. I am starting to get into tea. But I want to eat cereal out of this like nobody's business. So I painted the inside too just so it would be extra pretty. And lavender's my favorite color and I'm just, I'm an art genius. I could have said artist but I said art genius so. And then another favorite I have, a fashion favorite if you will, is rings from Brandy Melville. I'm going to have to zoom in so you can see them but yeah. I got a few rings from Brandy this month online, and this is one of them. I've been wanting it forever. It's just the crown but the red jewels, and I think this is the only one they have left because after I saw this one and loved it so much, I went back to order more, but they were, I couldn't find anyone but this. So, loving this, and then I got these little, they're just really, these are two rings by the way, they're really thin twisted gold bands and then they have little gems and I got the light blue and the yellow one and there's a turquoise and a red and I really want them both but I don't want to pay the shipping for just those small rings so get those later but yeah I've been loving the rings, focus, yay! 
And on my last favorites video, somebody asked for me to um, do a song favorite and a TV show favorite of the month. So my song favorites, I have two of this month, are of course Demi Lovato, Heart Attack. If you know me at all, you know she's my favorite. So anytime she releases something new, I just, like, I can't sleep because I'm so excited. And this was no different, which means, you know, a new single, which means a new CD, which means I'm not going to be sleeping at all. It's going to be amazing, and I'm so stoked. And then the next favorite, song favorite, is Mirrors by Justin Timberlake. Um, I don't... I don't see the point in it being eight minutes after like five minutes I'm like okay I'll just restart it because then it gets kind of weird but I like the first five minutes of the song so yeah and my TV favorite of the month is Pretty Little Liars I've always loved this show because it creeps me out just enough because I'm kind of a wimp and a baby but I like to watch it like right before I go to bed in the dark at my bed and I'm just like you know scared for my life it has been on point this month last season it was kind of like cloudy information, like you didn't really, you know, they, I don't know, they just, I, I can't even speak, I'm just so like flabbergasted, but in each episode you've been finding out something towards, you know, finding out who's A, who's, well we know who some of them are, but who's in the A team, who killed Allison, like we're, we're just getting so close and I'm just, you know, dying, that's so good. So, I've been really into that show and I wish it came on every night. So, <coughs> oh man. So that wraps up my February favorites. Um, please share with me your February favorites. Yeah, that's a good idea. And just leave them in a comment below. Um, I love comments. I like to read them and respond to them and like thumbs up them and stuff. So, feel free to say hello and yeah, I will see you guys very soon with another video, and thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!